Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Texas Democrats take aim at Ted Cruz's Senate seat. It was a Friday night and it was pouring rain in Dallas. The Texas Theater, most known for being the place where police captured Lee Harvey Oswald more than 50 years ago, is now a hipster hangout. The place was packed, not for an indie film or local band, but a politician you've probably never heard of Beto O'Rourke, the congressman from El Paso and a fourth generation Texan. The Democrat is hoping to unseat someone you definitely know, the senator and former presidential candidate Ted Cruz. While no political watchers expect an upset in November, the enthusiasm generated in this race and others in Texas may be a harbinger of the election atmosphere this fall. First, the money. Although Cruz has raised more money overall, O'Rourke has beaten Cruz, handily, in the last two reporting periods. In the first part of 2018, O'Rourke rose $2.8 million to Cruz's $800,000. And, as O'Rourke likes to point out, his campaign doesn't accept political action committee money. Cruz is quick to offer an explanation. You're right, Cruz told Fox News outside an event in El Paso. My opponent has raised a lot of money. And it doesn't hurt that, New York senior, Chuck Schumer brought his liberal buddies with him and they would love to see the state of Texas have an anti-gun, pro-amnesty, liberal Democrat represent them. Money is one thing. Turnout is another. At least when it comes to early voting in this Texas primary, Democratic turnout has doubled over the last midterm primary. Still, political watchers are not expecting a huge shakeup. After all, Texas is solidly red. Maybe a couple seats in the U.S. House will go from Republican to Democrat, said Cal Gilson, a political science professor at Southern Methodist University. He said most of the impacts would be on state legislative races. Still, Gilson cautioned Republican incumbents like Cruz should not to get complacent. I think incumbents always ought to run nervous, particularly in the age of Trump, he said. What this Democratic enthusiasm means for states outside of Texas remains to be seen. As for O'Rourke, he's crisscrossing the state, determined to visit every county in Texas, there are 254. O'Rourke said one county he visited hadn't seen a Senate candidate from either